So, the Microsoft conference has come and gone yesterday, or the day before. I don't even know what day it is. It was the 21st, might be the 22nd today. Who knows when it'll be uploaded, hopefully today, which is the day after. Well, Microsoft showed off their Xbox, their new one. Now, there are so many things wrong with this. Now, let me start off with saying, I thought Sony did a very eh job at their conference they had back in February. But this one... Oh my god, it was just everything that I heard about it. Fucking terrible. Well, let's see, they focus on TV, 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 Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Sports, 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 TV, TV, TV. Nah, that's all they did. No games. Well, there are a few games Call of Duty and NFL 2014. No, doesn't count. Call of Duty is your media mediocre game. I mean, yes, I play COD, but I don't play it religiously like some people do. So, fail. <laughs> um, we got to see the console. It looks like a fucking VCR. Fail. The controller looks nice, though. That's a positive. I like the look of the controller. Let's see. Uh, what else did they show? Hmm. Oh, they showed the Kinect. That goes comes with it. Looks fucking scary. It's like... I guess one eye is like this big, and the rest is oh, like this. And it, I'll get into details on that later. So what else did they say? Oh, yes, the most important parts. Number one, it's not backwards compatible at all. Yes, the PlayStation 4 is not backwards compatible, but at least they're going to do something about it by doing the PlayStation, uh, well, some cloud thing. I know Microsoft's going to try that, but PlayStation is going to allow you to play PS1, 2, and 3 games in this stream thing. But then again, they both fucked up on that. At least Nintendo on their Wii U had backwards compatibility. So that's cool. Or for them, <laughs> Microsoft, fail. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. It can't play used games unless you pay a fee. Well, I don't think they specified the fee, but I've been hearing things saying, all right, if you buy the game, it is locked to your console. Like, you buy the game, you go, you put it in your console, you just put wherever the fuck the, maybe it's the slide, I think, with the PS3. You put it in your console, and then it just is all like, throw this game is not locked to your account on this console. So maybe you want to go to your friend's house. Say I'm going to my friend's house this weekend, right? I got the PS... Let's see, I got a... Um, let's see. Uh, uh, da, 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 let's see. Mm -hmm. I got Left 4 Dead. Imagine, imagine when Left 4 Dead 3 comes out in 20 years. On the P, on the Xbox. The new Xbox system. I'll get to them in a little bit and show you, tell you how wrong that is. Say so I want to take this game. Bring it to my friend's house put this game in their system. Well, you can, but when you put it in, I'm assuming it's going to say you need to register this to this for an additional cost of people are saying it's a few dollars, some people are saying it's full price. And I'm like, "What? Full fucking price?" So, I'm like, "Well, that's stupid." And like if you buy a game used, it's yours. You shouldn't have to pay extra. But Microsoft is greedy as they already fucking are. So they're going to be all like, yep, uh, yep, we want some more money. We've got to have money. I'm assuming you're still going to have to pay for online or Xbox Live, all that garbage. So that's a fail. Uh, let's see, what else is there for console hardware? All right. They have the connect that goes with it. It's no longer just a separate attachment that, you know, could. That's not. It's not just a separate attachment you can plug into your 360, like the normal connect that comes with the, the new model Xbox. It comes with it, and it's built into it somewhat. I mean, you can still take it by your TV or whatever, but if you break the connect in any way, your system is done. It's broken. Another fail is. The internal hard drive they have going for it is not replaceable. So if your hard drive fucks up, you want to trade in for a new console, 
yeah, you're pretty, you're pretty fucked. I don't think there's a f transfer thing they got going on, at least yet. If they don't, then fuck you, Microsoft. Let's see. Hmm. What else did they do? Oh, yes. Let's get into the name of the Xbox. Now, the first one was called Xbox, and the second was called Xbox 360. Now, you think they take the Atari route and go uh, Atari 2600, then a 5200, 7800, multiplying it by two. Now, a lot of people thought it was going to be the Xbox 720. Then there was the Fusion. Then there was um, something else. I forget what the other name was. But everyone was assuming those names. No, guess what they called it. A lot of you probably know by now. The Xbox One. Not just one. Like, you know, spelling out the word. One. Why? Why would you do this? I mean, yeah, okay, call it something, but then people are going to be all like, hmm, Xbox One. But wait, I thought there already was an Xbox, but so is this the first one? No? That's stupid. See, everyone's probably going to think that's very stupid. I mean, I don't care how blind of a fanboy you are. If you approve of this name and you find no problem with it at all, there's something wrong with you. You must be, you know, sucking that micro cock. All right? It's a dumb name. It should not exist. It should have been the Xbox 720. That's what it should have been. And then the Xbox 1080 will be the next one, but... Ugh. So, yeah. They pretty much fucked everybody over. Now, my thoughts on all of this. It's quite fucking stupid. I am not going to buy this console. There's no way in hell you're going to make me buy this console. I'm going to stick with the Wii U and eventually get the PlayStation 4 if the price isn't $999. That'd be pretty bad. But, yeah, I'm going to stick with the Wii U for now. Fuck the, mic the Microsoft box. Fuck the Xbox One. There's no point in getting it unless they show some stellar games. Oh, by the way, uh, they have Steven Spielberg going to direct the TV series for Halo. That's pretty cool. I don't really care, honestly, because I'm not a Halo fan. I never was and never will be. Didn't like Halo 3 at all. I didn't really care about the other games either. So well, I tried Halo 1. It was... So yeah, that's bad. Also, the worst thing that is going to ever happen is like, all right, let me explain this to you. Well, remember how back with, say, old console games, PlayStation 2, GameCube, and farther back than that besides the original Xbox, because that had online capabilities, like, heart, like a really, like, in-depth. Remember how you didn't have to be connected to the internet before there even was internet for consoles? Well, this new one, this Xbox One, is making you be online all the time if you're if if you turn that console on it has to be connected to the internet otherwise it ain't doing shit i'm like what and then they say i saw another article saying it needs to be on it one hour a day or at least one hour so it can update and put patches and shit i'm like well some people be like well this isn't too bad for me well there are other people out there that don't have internet connection or maybe they're out in, like, the country area, and they don't have a really good internet provider. And they have to go off someone else's internet that has no password or anything. About two bars out of four? Yeah, not good. Maybe you have an unstable connection with Link System, or Link SYS, they're, like, in this area. You're fucked. What if you had no internet at all and you can't really access it? Pretty much, if you don't have access to internet, this console is paperweight. That's bad. And, I mean, it does look like a VCR, so you probably couldn't tell the difference anyway if you looked at both of them. It'd look at them a little bit, like a little close, just a little bit closer than you'd be able to tell. But that's different, That's different though, but oh my god. Online always. PS3 doesn't have to do that. Wii doesn't have to do that. Even the 360 doesn't have to do that. And I understand what the point of this is. Yeah, they, they want to keep things updated and whatever, and I've heard they're saying they want to prevent hackers, but there's going to be hackers out there. They're gonna get, they're gonna get your console. Every single console that's come out has been hacked at some point. PlayStation Three got hacked back in May of 2012 or 2011. I think it was I don't know. Which, I think it was 11. I don't remember. 
Xbox 360 gets hacked all the time. I mean, not like on a grand scale like the PS3 has, but wow. Uh, and they say Xbox doesn't get hacked. Oh, Xbox fanboys are fucking stupid. Anyway, Wii U hasn't gotten a major hack yet, from what I know. And in terms of everything before that, there you know, there's they aren't like major hacks. So this is gonna prevent online ha hackers. No, they're gonna find a way around your freaking system crap. You may be thinking, well, it's gonna benefit us, so our consoles are gonna get hacked and all that. Well, the people who don't have online will be fucked. So, who are you helping out here? Yourselves. But by saying you help yourselves by preventing hacking and stuff to your system, you're pissing off the consumers. So, you're like, yeah, we'll protect the consumers and all that, you know, so their stuff doesn't get screwed up, say for like PlayStation 3 did. But when you do it to that extent... The consumers aren't going to go buy your console. So you might want to restrict that just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. So, yeah. And, and Microsoft didn't really have any games to show off either. They had NFL. And they had Call of Duty Ghosts. And I mean, graphically it looks okay. It looks pretty good. But the dog bot? What? I don't... Don't know, don't care. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, tell me what you guys think of the Microsoft's Xbox One. They took 359 steps backwards. Wait. Backwards. That's all I gotta say on that. And you know what the funny thing is? There's probably gonna be more internet means based off of this console more than sales. If that is true, that is sad. Anyway. So what do you guys think? Let me know below, and uh, if anyone is watching, are you going to get this console? Are you, or are you not? I'm not going to lie, if you are, you are a blind fanboy, and you just love to suck that Microsoft dick, or the micro dick, or just, you love just worshipping Microsoft no matter what they do. Oh well. For me, Wii U and PS4 is where you should be at. We'll be at both when this, no no never mind. Anyway, I'm Alex and see ya.